Sometimes in life, I wonder about the choices I've made that have taken me to this point. Like, what went wrong? Usually, I can trace it back to one thing. A little thing called peer pressure. The thing that led me to deciding to do the open, even though I didn't have to. We're about to do the first open workout, week one, 19.1. Wall balls and rowing. Sounds really exciting. It's, I'm over the moon, as you might imagine. Explain a time with a man. So let's talk about the Open. The Open has traditionally been a five week long online qualifier for regionals, which were themselves the exclusive qualifying pathway to the CrossFit Games. But like everything else in the 2019 CrossFit Games season, that's thrown right out the window because the Open now functions as a direct qualifier for the CrossFit Games itself. And those stakes are incredibly high considering the Open is literally open to whoever wants to compete and participate. You can just go in there and compare your scores to the best of the best in the world. There's also entertainment value because some of the best CrossFitters in the world, they group up and do this thing called open humiliation in which every week for the five weeks, the last place finisher in their group has to do something incredibly humiliating for our entertainment and that that is wonderful, but again, if that is not enough, in Pat Vellner's case, he earned a spot to the CrossFit Games by winning Wadapalooza, and between all these crazy rules that just got thrown in, he can actually earn a spot to the Games instead through the Open, and then his Wadapalooza spot goes down to the next person on the list, which is Noah Olson. So there's a lot riding on the Open this year. I'm starting to wonder why I didn't just take the invite. Why did I do the open? Basically, the only reason I'm doing the open is because I'm doing the Trash Talk Thursday group. We have a, like a punishment humiliation every week. I think this week it's uh, it's water balloons and flour, like old tar and feathering. Yeah, just try not to lose, right? Same game plan as always. Don't come last. Y'all ready? I should have been deeper into that row probably, closer to finishing it. Maybe I haven't been training for the Open since qualifying. I've been doing a lot of different stuff and that showed. I was a bit of a slap in the dick. Yikes. Hopefully I'm not getting water balloon. Be insult to injury. <laughs> that was <laughs> Can't wait. Oh no, that's yes. it. We're home. This is where I live. I live here with the boys. <laughs> in this mess, this disaster. We shame clean on Sundays. <laughs> We're almost there. Yeah, almost there. So your name is? My name is Ryland Henley. I'm uh, known as Henner. Also, uh, met Pat first year. Literally first day of school. We were in the same group of 10. So ever since then, we've been rolling strong. Yeah. You've done this whole gig before? Yeah. The yeah, we've seen the cameras around. This is probably like I think my third documentary appearance, so I'm getting pretty used to this. You guys are actually the first ones to ask me questions, so I appreciate that. Daniels? <laughs> I've been going to the CMCC chiropractic school for the last three years. I'm now just finishing my fourth year as an intern, so we've been working a lot with patients. I always kind of wanted to work in a health field and growing up as a gymnast, lacrosse player, I was constantly getting the crap beat out of me and having to get my body put back together. So I used a lot of, you know, manual therapy like that, physical therapy and wanted to get into that. I had a great chiropractor growing up and had a positive experience and I think I just wanted to kind of give that back uh, when my time came around. So I think for me, there's always been life after CrossFit. I'm not looking to be a master's athlete for my whole life or, or really own a gym right now. 
So I've always kind of been planning for the future of what I'm gonna do once, once CrossFit's done for me. So just been building that career path for the last few years. Student, I'm thinking in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, he's my pod right now. Yeah. And then I came back and actually asked Patrick, I'm like, so are you the, yeah, one of the fittest men in the, on the planet? He's like, he didn't say, it. he was humble. He's like, yeah, that's me. Yeah. Humble brag. Yeah. <laughs> Often it seems you'll have exams right around competitions and things just never seem to fall quite right. But um, I've managed to find a way to balance it and survive the last few years. And so it's nice to have a light at the end of the tunnel now and be able to see the, see the end and, and get ready for life after school at least. Patrick Vellner, 19.2. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. Seven. That's it. You got this. Yes, sir. There you go. One. Five. Looking good. Five. 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 Two more. Looking strong. Let's go. That's it. You know what you're doing here. You got this. Michelle just got a residency, so we're off to Nanaimo in June, back to the West Coast. Oh, it's it's pretty exciting. I'm happy to go back out west. It's been too long that I've been stuck out east, so yeah. uh, I'm excited to be headed back. Who are you going to watch out for out there? I don't have to watch out for anybody out there. <laughs> <laughs> Especially now that it, the, the new system's in place and we don't have to worry about regional stuff. Yeah. I was going to text Brent and tell him that he's lucky and we don't have to worry about regionals anymore. He might not make regionals if I was there. BC, coming at ya. Uh, pure CrossFit in Red Deer. This is usually where I train when I'm visiting back home. Uh, we're gonna hit 19.3 here, and they got a big crew to come out and watch, which is cool. I don't normally have that back home. I kind of do all this stuff on my own, so it'll be interesting to see. I think, especially in this sort of workout, you've got to be a little bit controlled, so um, we'll see. Hopefully, I can control that energy a little bit. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I've seen Pat exercise a lot of times. We were like, oh, we're excited to watch Pat exercise. I'm like, I'm excited to watch people be excited to pat, watch Pat exercise. Yeah, it's going to be good.
I've done one too that was like not a lot of people calling that a no rat these days. I was too slow on the box. Yeah. How was that? Do you want to do that now? Could you, you wait, wait, wait for the next one. Okay. Yeah, he's quite well, the uh, been able to go then. <laughs> So it's all my friends down there around the equator. This is ice. This is ice hockey. Or in Canada, we just call it hockey. And then this is a backhander. <laughs> yeah, hold my crispy jaw. Oh yeah, she is. Walk in the fist. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> is there beer in any of those? Uh, yep. How high are the stakes? <laughs> Well, I mean, we only brought one biscuit to the pond, and uh, we got and done lost her. So, <laughs> trying to dig her out of the pillows, <clears throat> taking some time. Yeah, make sense to the Brazilians. Game over. He has like a new daughter together very often, and, and it's uh, thanks to Pat for kind of being there, our, our catalyst to get everybody together again. And thanks to the rest of the family for joining us, and thank you guys for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you. You're kind of, as you can see, we kind of everybody's just part of the family, so you're part of the family, so you get to do dishes. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers, Pat. Good luck for the rest of we're going to plan a surprise song for Pat. It's going to, he's going to surprise him with a surprise song. He's really, Pat is so strong, Pat is so strong, A, B, C, like one, two, three, let's go Uncle Pat, let's go Uncle Pat, let's go. Surprise. I think I get more stress than events like this than like a big time call. Like you know, half the people there. It's like it's impersonal at the games. So just yelling at you like an animal. Third place finish in 2016. Third place finish in 2017. Second in 2018. And we all wanted to finish first in 2019. <laughs> Point four is three rounds for time. Ten snatch, 65 pounds for women, 95 pounds for men. Twelve bar facing burpees. Rest three minutes. Three rounds for time. Ten bar muscle ups. Twelve bar facing burpees. Twelve minute time cap, including the three minutes of rest. That's 19.4.
I've been more excited. I guess thrusters and pull-ups yeah. again, you know? Thrusters and chest bars always. Come on. A little text from Noah there in the DMs. <laughs> How'd we do, team? Noah really needs me to do well on this one or else he doesn't go to the games. Like, if I win, if I finish in a qualifying spot in the top, whatever, mm -hmm. 20, uh, after the backfilling from the champions, national champions, then my Wadapalooza spot would drop down to him. But uh -huh. if I don't, then I take the Wadapalooza spot and he's got to find a spot somewhere else, so. He had a, a bad week one and he's he's been suffering for that. So the last couple of days he's been sending me very encouraging messages. I'm expecting a gift basket or two if I actually make it. Patrick Vellner, 90.5 at Crossing Solo Ground. Sometimes just wish they're gonna give you a curveball. And you know, once again, just thrusters and pull-ups. So Pretty miserable stuff to do, but fortunately, again, this is one where having that uh, that spot locked up, my games invite, was definitely nice because I didn't have to stress about redoing that workout a couple times because a lot of athletes in that position, that sucks. It's not a workout you want to do multiple times. So um, I gave it one good shot, did pretty well. I think I was kind of a 20th place finish or something like that. A little more to give maybe if I really wanted to redo it, but I really didn't. Anyways, it was nice to have the open over. <laughs> Turn the page, move on to something else. Yeah. What am I doing here? You the grab shot. What's up, What's up dogs? Here's in first and then... Road trip. Quite the last month. Yeah. Just with, with work and school and everything frantically checking boxes, trying to get all my requirements done in time for uh, for this, and like graduation. <laughs> graduation, so, moving. Yeah, like it's kind of funny because it's been so high, high stress for the last, you know, three, four weeks, <clears throat> trying to get everything done, but now it's not gonna get any less stressful. I think it, it just sort of shifts gears, everything. <laughs> all the stress shifts to a new location, which is fun. I feel like they're, they look hard to, strategize um, a lot of them are, are kind of built in a way that I think in order to separate yourself from the pack you've kind of got to go pretty full dummy on a lot of them um, yeah. and like there's a high potential of people just like blowing up going out hot and being like I think I can maybe do this and hang on and try to win the event and often like that's how you win events and like major crossfit competitions is like you have to do something that's like Eh, maybe a little bit reckless and then yeah. if it works then you win yeah and if it doesn't work then you crash and burn so there's a, like a lot of potential for that and because there's money on the line for individual events people will do it yeah like talking to the camera I think it's hey effective. Pat Bellner here <laughs> no everyone <laughs> just liked treated it. a patient <laughs> everyone liked it when you broke your toe that was huge <laughs> I seem to love it when I hurt myself <laughs> we've managed to escape from the socialist Trudeau regime, and we're now free in America. Sure, you know. Am I do, west? Should we do one? No, no I think we're east. We're east. We're gonna go east. No, we're west. <laughs> we missed uh, our exit. We missed our exit. What is it? What is a mile? 400 meters? Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna so. crush some macros. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Oh. And I feel like I really missed the boat on. I never got to do the online dating thing, and you know, I always hear great stories from it. So I feel like that would be fun to do. But I think that it's at least an, an, a social experiment that I wish I would have been able to you get in on. You know, your CrossFit photos in your profile. No, no, pretty vanilla. Just the best of times. So uh, it is fun. It's fun to kind of have people around and have just kind of engagement in what you're doing. So. But it's cool. I like that it's uh, it's pretty lighthearted and has a lot of humor behind it because I feel like that's typically how I try to live. Some days you just want to sit around, dude. Be boring. But I can't because you guys are watching. Yep, uh, so we're on our way to the day one of the Rogue Invitational. We're running a little bit behind. Opening ceremonies are supposed to start in seven minutes. 
So hopefully they either let us drive straight onto the field or somebody's there to grab me as soon as we walk out. The individuals are coming up next. The men's will kick things off here in their opening event, Go Ruck. Now, Bill, more than half of this field has already qualified for the 2019 Reebok CrossFit Games. And for the men who are heading to Madison, this is probably the best tune-up they're going to get before they get to Wisconsin. You know, we used to talk about the off-season, trying to test your training, see where you are. If you wanted to put together a dream testing scenario, let's put the best in the world in your field. And that's exactly what this is. We have the last two heats of the games competing on your first event right now. And you mentioned the best in the world. In the past three years, that man has been Matt Fraser. This is the first time we're going to see him in a competition since last year. And he has done exactly what Matt does. He comes out in Dubai, just smashes the field there, and then in his quote-unquote resting time, he goes and wins the World Wide Open. So I tell you what, the offseason for him has been amazing. And if you want to put yourself next to the best, he is the best. And the man that many people think might have a chance of dethroning him is Pat Velder. Now, one of the things I love about Pat is his nonchalant excellence. He's just so good. He doesn't ever seem worried. But I love the fact that finally there's someone out there that isn't running for second place. He's gunning for Matt. And I'm really excited to see him really step up there and fight for it. I want to see him fight for it. An individual go run, 22-minute time cap. And Ro mentioned it. they got to do all this work wearing that 30-pound cap. Three rope climbs, they'll need it, finishing out the heat. The Noah Olson working on his sandbags, Ruby George on the left of your screen, Pat Felder. Lucas Holberg is done first. And there goes Pat Felder right behind him. This may be this event right here. Look at where, look where Pat is. Right behind Lucas, right up at the front. Beating Matt here would be, uh, again, a very good start for Pat because Pat usually in, in, in competitions likes to start off in last place and then come all the way up and end up a second behind Matt. So event one at Rogue was the Go Ruck event. We had the 30 pound Ruck backpack. Um, running with that, it was about a mile course. You had to do and carry a heavy sandbag for about, I don't know what, a half a mile and then drag it to the finish line. Um, just grunt work basically out in the sun. And across the field and to the finish line, Cole Sager and Pat Felder back inside the outdoor stadium as well as is Noah Olson. And there goes Matt Fraser. Cole Sager has now passed Lucas Holberg. Felder threatening to pass Holberg as well. Fraser is going to win the event. He'll lock up 100 points. Cole Sager will take second. Pat Velder passing Lucas Holberg for third and 80 points in Al Holberg. That was funny. So in the end, the, that was no big deal, but that running around the barrier, um, anybody who jumped over the barrier and didn't run got a, a 10 second penalty on their total time. So Matt ended up winning the event uh, and Cole came in second and I came in third. But because Matt jumped over the barrier, he got a 10 second penalty and we were less than 10 seconds behind him. So Cole ended up finishing first and I was second. Um, which was sweet. I mean, you gotta follow the rules. That's that's why they tell us that. But I'm glad they did something about it because it was, I mean, it was mostly just annoying. For one event, this is where we stand. Cole Sager leading the race to win the whole just thing. Refresh Chandler. your memory on what we're taking on here. 21 15, nine deadlifts and burpees. The second of four events we will do today. The second of eight total events in this competition. It was just hard on your back <laughs> like it was really a kind of grunt work workout so um fun one though because i got to have another good chase with matt we're in the lanes next to each other and they got to kind of keep an eye on each other a few of them matt and a few guys tried to do the first round unbroken and then they suffered later on in the workout so i backed off on the first round and then caught guys and passed He's them at the end closer to that mark of 91 velder's about a rep behind him oh my gosh now three to go for both Fraser and Vellner. Vellner is starting to pull even. They head to head matchup that people love to see. Fraser and Vellner with one more. And they are off at the same time and now a sprint to the finish, but Fraser with a no rep, so it's Patrick Vellner who's gonna get the event win and lock up 100 points. Fraser will take second in the heat. As Chandler Smith Matt kind of, we were right tight and he might have edged me at the end, but he got no rep on his last burpee pull up because he was kind of looking over his shoulder to see if I was sprinting already. 
and he got no reps, so I ended up uh, taking the win, which was good. Get him looking over his shoulder. It's, I don't mind that at all. Ten men in the second and final heat. Your overall leaders will be in the middle of the floor, but keep a close eye. We talked about the battle going on between Ben Smith and Chandler Smith. Pat Velder, he's in the battle for the overall event win here right now, sitting in first place overall, but trying to hold off a man by the name of Matt Fraser. He, the, the rolling the wall balls was like, be steady, GHDs, be steady, and then I'm a pretty good jumper, so I was like, I'm going to try to take the lead and the box jump overs and then overhead walking lunges is my best movement. I have like some issues with my shoulder stability, so try to build a lead there and then suffer through the lunges. But the, I was surprised. I mean, I, th I think if you feel the effect of those other events, when I got to the box, I was way more tired than I was expecting. I thought I'd recover a little better on the GHD sit-ups. And then, you know, was gas coming out of the box jumps and then that didn't help my, my weakest movement of the workout also. It was a grind trying to finish. I had a couple bad steps, a couple ones where I, you know, I was basically on the line and I had to do an extra step. Um, and it was just, yeah, it was tough. I, I, my shoulders were falling apart, so I've been working a lot on that since. But uh, that was a tough workout for me. Still finished, I think, fifth. But uh, yeah, it was, that was a, a tough one. And I'm just super impressed with how Pat is composing himself in every single one of these events. After three events, I was in first, with Matt not far behind. The point system they used at Rogue was new, so top three finishes were very valuable, and then it, you dropped off significantly from there. He had not had any kind of home runs yet, so he was paying for it a little bit on that new system. So yeah, after three events, I was uh, beating the old boy. So <laughs> it was good. It's nice to nice to get that fear in his eyes every now and then. Yeah, event four was a classic. It was Amanda basically ring muscle ups and squat snatches, but we had an extra two rounds at the end, and Matt went unbroken, and so he ended up edging me by like a couple seconds. Gave him a little race at the end there, but. Uh, but it was fun. It was fun to have a little race with him again. Like those are simple CrossFit workouts. He's really good at that stuff, so it's fun to be able to stay tight with him and did what I needed to do in that. He took the win in that one, but I took second. I mitigated damage, uh, and then was able to finish the first day in first place. So that's a really good sign, you know, moving forward that your training's in the right place. You're kind of you're doing the right things. Um, and like I said, it's it's a good it's a good sign of vulnerability for Matt, and I think it he doesn't like those positions and. It's really, it's cool to see from my position when somebody else gets flustered when they make mistakes because I make mistakes all the time. And, you know, I'm pretty good at figuring it out and landing on my feet. But, you know, some people aren't as good at that. And, you know, Matt doesn't make a lot of mistakes. So when he does and he pays for them, he's going to get frustrated. Uh, and, you know, at the end of the day, he wasn't as smiley as he was at the start of the day. That's why I came to that event, right? Just to take a run at him and, and see where I am. Thank you.